Okay guys, here's a first look at views for the Nintendo Switch. Uh, so let's start here. This will be your coding area. Right here. And you can use either that keyboard, which is a bit of a pain to be honest, or you can plug in a USB into the switch itself and use that a USB keyboard if you have one you can access your media files through this button right here cut copy and paste code from other games or rather demos and hit the red help button to access the little booklet in the top corner see like that Okay, let's back out of here. Okay, here's the media files you will find. And I'm not going to go through all of them because there's way too much. And from various different people or companies, you will get some of your uh, artwork, sounds, so on and so on. Let's check this one out. You can use these. These. And this like this. If you don't want to go through all that bit by bit, can go straight to here and see sound effects stuff like that furniture stuff like that shooter stuff like that or you can just go straight up to search punch in uh, punch in sword See, then all the swords will pop up. So if you want, uh, you're making a RPG, there you go. You even have sword sound effects. Hope you guys can hear that. Okay, so let's back out of here. Programs. And you can start your new project right here. New project. Or these are little tech demos you can access. And even use these as part of your own game. You can go in. And let's try... I'm just going to pick this one so you guys can get an idea of what it is. Spaceship Interior. There's the code. Let's hit run. And this is it. can back out of there and go into the code and if you want to use this into your game you can go in and edit the code 
or cut, copy, and paste whatever part you need into your game. Okay, let's show off some more. This, this won't be a long video, just giving you an idea of what you can do. Oh, oops, hit the wrong button. edit it and make sure this stuff doesn't happen. Once again, if you want to, you can edit all this right here and use it for your own game. Okay, here's your new project you can start. Save your projects and edit details. If you have friends on your Nintendo Switch and they have this game, you can, uh, I don't have any, but you guys can share different games and help each other with projects. Here are your tools. Map editors, image editor. You can take the images from the other part I showed you, bring them into here and edit them to your liking. Little sh settings sound, appearance, preference and here's the sort of best part of it help here's a long tutorial and this is the part I think I don't like about it here's all this stuff right here which is fine, I've got no problem with all this Okay, uh, let's see if I can, okay, tutorial 9, and or not, and this is the problem, with every one of these, sprites, sprite game, 3D, simple lighting, game level, character, movement, animation, items, so on and so on, there's no real tutorial, I mean there's this, you can do all this, but there's no like, okay, let's take something like this, loop, loops, here's a loop, you do this, and that's it, you can do what's on here, like text size, parentheses, zeros, hundred, parentheses, or brackets, loop, ink, fuse, pink, so on and so on. You can do that in the coding pro in the coding screen just to get an idea of what it is or how to do it. But there's no actual example like I wish after this tutorial part there was a screen you could or a button you could click on that would bring you to the coding screen and say, hey, since you've read the loop tutorial Show us you know what you do, you know? And then once you finish that loop tutorial, it will be a checkoff because you've already done it. Then it will switch to variables. 
you will read the variable tutorial and then there will be okay a button uh, do a variable in your code or whatever and then once you've done the variable there'll be a check off to me that would be that's my only problem that I don't like and let's see if I can get it to work I hope I explained that somewhat where it made sense uh, I don't know how to clear this out right here but let's see okay so you can go back the only way to do what I just explained is to start from here loops and as you're reading it do it as you're reading it but it's still a bit I don't know still not a hundred percent to my liking so you could do uh well I'll have to clear all this stuff out on the left hand side and I'm not sure how to do it well hold on let me see if I can go into see new project just gonna okay now bring up the keyboard bring up help do that now as I'm um, reading the tutorial then I can go over here Well, then I can go over here. Let's see if I can do it. Uh, okay. Then I can go over here and put... It's better with the keyboard, but I don't have it mine hooked up yet. So I'm doing it with the cursor. Then you can do print... I don't know if it has to be caps or whatever. Hello, Tony. Let's see. I'm not sure if the spaces make a difference or not. Uh, let's see. a whole lot easier with the keyboard uh, I'm not sure how to go down a notch no oh enter okay update I can imagine trying to do a hundred plus lines of code with this cursor that would be a pain in the neck right there. Okay. Enter. Let's do sleep. Hmm. Space again. And see, this is the only way to do an example from your uh, the tutorials but even after you do this there's no like check mark saying okay you've completed this part of the tutorial section now you're ready to go on to the next you know which it's a pain in the neck sometimes but it is what it is okay so we have chosen our chosen text appear on screen for two seconds now let's make views do this over and over again Okay, so let's see. Go to run. Hello, Tony. See? You can go back. Seven. Space. Let's 
Jesse. Hello, Tony. And that's it. That's how you go. And you can do the loop, repeat, and all this stuff right here. So, it's, so far I'm not having any problems with it. Uh, but I, I'm sure I will once I get around towards variables and all that kind of stuff because I'm really not good with math and all that kind of stuff so I think that's where I have problems at but I'm um, trying to go slowly I was thinking of making like a simple uh, what's that game on the old Atari system uh, where the first screen I think you jumped over some guys with spears no, 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 no. The first level was you swinging on vines. Then you're in the water fighting crocodiles. Then the third level, I think, had you jumping over guys with spears. Uh, pitfall. It was Pitfall. I was thinking of trying to make a Pitfall type game or something similar like that. Then once I understand the mechanics better, do more complex stuff. I'm not trying to do a FPS or... Uh, anything like that I don't want I don't think I'll ever get to that level of expertise but some, something small I think I can do okay guys that's about it for this first look on fuse till next time